valve adjustment time. As you can see, I have us these, uh, you know, the feeler gauges, and they're actually all for this uh, valve adjustment. So it's 0 0.10 millimeters, and then there's another one for exhaust valves, it's 0 0.35 millimeters. And then I have a couple smaller and bigger sizes. So, and then right now I'm checking one of these, and this valve adjustment is actually all off, it's like way off. So I'm gonna go ahead and adjust these valves. This is the intake valve and it's like really loose. I uh, fit like 0.12 millimeter size in there. So that, that's pretty bad. So I'm gonna go ahead. I have a lot of videos on it, so I'm not gonna film too much. So just gotta go through these 10 valves and adjust them properly. After adjusting it with my homemade special wrenches, I'm gonna recheck the filler gauge. It's 0 0.10 millimeters and it should have a slight drag. So this is how it looks, right? As you can see, it has this slight drag. It cleans the oil off once you slide it through the valve and run between the valve and the rocker, so that's it. And then I'm gonna move on through the rest of them. So I'll show you how I'm setting up the crankshaft. Okay, so you want to make sure that that lobe is pointing, pointing like up, and then this one as well is kind of like to the side because that will mean that this cylinder is in at uh, top dead center on a compression stroke. Um, and then on the bottom here, um, I set this. Kind of difficult to see the zero degrees. Um, and before removing anything else, uh, this pulley and the balancer, I'm gonna mark these three pieces together. Okay, I'm gonna use like a white out or something and mark them before I removed all that. So before taking it all off, this is what I did. I marked it, and from this angle, I will remember to put it back the same way using those marks all right and then i'll also remember that uh, that pointer the timing pointer has to line up with the ot mark okay so right now i'm going to start removing uh this big pulley for the belts so we start removing the bolt it's a uh, um, uh, six millimeter hex key you have to use okay um, there they are just have to remove one more and that's it this whole piece will come off and we'll be left with just the harmonic balance. Taking the last bolt out and this pulley will come off. Here's the pulley. We'll be cleaning that making it nice now we're left with this piece which just comes off I just gotta wiggle it there's that bad boy lots of junk here look at that this is all sand all right now we're left with this balancer that we'll be pulling off okay and I'll be using a puller to do that. The way I loosened this bolt is, uh, as you saw, I had, uh, um, as you saw, I had the uh, uh, breaker bar right there, and I just, you know, turned the end, and it, uh, you know, it loosened this bolt. This is how it looks with the bolt removed. There are two pins. Okay. Now we're gonna reattach this uh, um, puller, so I can pull this guy off. Also make sure that this is still at OT. Here's the setup. Now I'm gonna put something right here where the radiator is, like a cardboard, just in case.
see that mark has moved and this baby's coming off nice and smooth just watch that radiator okay forever so I'll remove this plate as well I need to clean everything here and, uh, yeah I think this is original seal Let's see if it's brown it looks it looks brown so I'm pretty sure that's original here's a closer look at that seal plate will come off and then we'll clean everything so that's my goal is before taking anything off I want to clean all this junk off so when I take this out nothing falls into the engine all right it's really important how but this spacer ring is just coming out easily without the special press tool and puller Let's see. well maybe right now I'm gonna need like a puller or something because right now it's it's stopped it's not really moving but I need to replace the spacer and it has some scoring. I have a brand new one. All right, spacer ring is out. There it is. And there's kind of like a place where it was wearing okay new versus old So to clean the gasket surface area, make sure you cover everything up, nothing falls to the oil pan. So I'm going to be using the uh, razor blade, okay, using the razor blade, oh, I'm going to start cleaning all this surface right here so I can apply the gasket maker.
Okay, so this uh, gasket sealant has been drying up and it's already dry now. Okay, and uh, as you can see, I put some right there that way uh, just to eliminate any possible oil leaks. Okay, and um, this right here that I covered up, it's actually for uh, this is like a bolt, like a mount for the. Uh, timing chain guide rail okay it goes here so I just want to make sure that there's no oil leaks from coming from there that's why I just sealed it up it's gonna be fine and as you can see then put too much uh, sealant on this uh, front housing just enough so I can actually seal okay So the crankshaft pulley is all back, harmonic balancer, everything. All right, I'm gonna turn the engine right now um, just to make sure everything is good. All right, only turn it clockwise. Okay. Okay, 27 millimeter. Good. Okay. And then I'm gonna bring it here. As you can see, I painted this harmonic balancer, but I didn't paint it all the way. Because, as you can see, those marks, the white marks, I left them out. I didn't want this because I wanted to make sure I put everything back the way it was. And I'll paint it really soon here after we're done. I need to run the engine first to make sure everything's good. So I'm gonna bring it to top dead center now. Where it was, I'll show you all the marks line up. Right here. Oh, I kind of went past it, but um, let's see. So this this mark right here was a reference for me to make sure that the harmonic balancer is all the way in. Okay, and these marks over here that I marked, uh, they're all lined up right here. Okay system is still off so you don't want to run it for too long just a little bit okay maybe like 20 seconds or so and it's gonna have a exhaust leak because my EGR valve is out and the pipe so it's gonna have an exhaust leak as well So after running the engine, I'll try to squeeze and show you real quick. It's gonna be hard to see, but we have no oil leaks whatsoever. Okay. From that seal. 
no oil leaks at all so i'm pretty happy about that um yeah tomorrow i'll start putting everything back together cooling system and all the other stuff